Hey guys, here's a short video showing how the new JB4 uh, F-Series OBD connection map switching works. To engage the mode, you're going to push and hold this button up here, the same one you use for can flap. Keep holding it even after you see the flap for can flap. And you'll see the left arrow stick on left there. You'll notice that the speedometer is at zero now and the tack has moved up to two. That's because the menu zero on the left there indicates the map number and we're on map two. Now the menus don't quite line up yet with the speedometer. I mean, we're still trying to work through some technical issues on that. So you'll have to count the clicks. But let me scroll through the menus really quick here. So it's zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, then it wraps back around zero. Now once you're on a menu, if you want to change it value, like for example, let's try and change this to map one, we'll press and hold that button again. You'll see the arrow flip over to the right there. And now as I toggle the button, it'll flip through the different tack options. Map six, map seven, map eight, map zero map one, which is what I want. Then I'll go ahead and press and hold that. You'll see the lights flash twice there, then the tack and everything goes back to normal. So I'll jump back into the mode. You'll see now we're on map one. I'll post a, uh, a listing of all the different options you can set up in here. That'll change by firmware version. Uh, I know that um, Menu zero's map, obviously. Menu one is the uh, active sound mute. I have it muted on my car. Menu two is the boost gauge and fuel. I have that enabled. Say I wanted to disable it, I would go ahead and press and hold it. Switch to the right here. And the options for that are zero or one. So I'll go to zero. Then I just press and hold it when it's on zero. Let me jump back in there and look at some other options. You'll see the boost gauge is disabled now. I believe menu 4 is the uh, LED max brightness and 5 is the uh, automatic code delete, but I could have those switched, so refer to the guide for that. Five up here is the uh, boost limiting, or boost reduction rather, in first gear. So I have it set right now to uh, 8,500 or 8.5 PSI reduction in first gear, eight PSI in second gear, and five PSI in third gear. And again, you can press and hold it and toggle through those options as well. That comes in really handy to the track, you know, when you're trying to race or whatever. So let me go ahead and put back on my boost gauge here. And that concludes the video.